Good morning, just wanted to do a quick review of the Black Mountain Cycles La Cabra uh, in California Gold. Um, this is a size 16 inch. Um, so similar to my crust in terms of effective top tube, except it's about 20 millimeters longer. Um, but it is kind of designed for a drop bar. Um, drop bars and uh, I have obviously have a flat bar with a 50 millimeter uh, stem on it. But um, my initial kind of uh, impressions of the bike after putting probably about like 50 miles, which is for me about four or five different rides on it, um, is it's, it's just a really fun bike, um, especially with flat bar. Um, I am a little bit upright in terms of position on it, um, but it's just such a fun bike and uh, you know, I didn't really build it for speed or anything. It was actually kind of a, somewhat of a, of a pull together as fast as I can um, with the parts available, either in my garage or my buddies or, uh, you know, some, some nicer parts I ended up getting. So um, I moved over some components from my Karate Monkey because it's right now single speed. Um, but uh, kind of start with, I guess, the wheel set. Um, the wheel set is actually new. I got it on um, Wiggle and uh, these are the Nuke Proof Horizon uh, version 2 and um, they're 29. Uh, they're about 30 millimeters wide uh, internal and about 35 external. Uh, these tires are uh, the Terravail A-Line and uh, they are the 2.5 uh, inch version. Um, this frame is spec for 2.4 at max. However, uh, the Terravails I read ran a little bit narrower than what they were um, kind of limited to. So I feel pretty comfortable with that. I, I live in SoCal, so I don't get a lot of mud, if any. Um, so I have, that's probably a good two and a half millimeters of space um, or more on each side. So I feel pretty good about it. Um, so I'm glad I went with a bigger tire on that. Um, yeah, and so it's just the same front and rear. Uh, these wheels I'm super impressed with. Um, they have 102 points of engagement. Um, so really, really uh, quick in terms of its ratcheting. Um, and uh, yeah, they've just been so far, obviously I haven't put too many miles on it, but so far I love them. Um, yeah, these tires are super quiet on the road. Um, I have to ride a, a few miles to get to the trailhead here. Um, and, uh, I have ridden on road, um, when I did Cherry Canyon as well. And, uh, they just did super good on the road and so quiet and, uh, definitely recommend these. Um, Let's see here, what else? Uh, we have, so for the drivetrain, we have uh, White Industries G30, uh, um, and I have some uh, Crank Brothers Stamp 7 pedals, which are also on my Karate Monkey. I have, uh, I just took the drivetrain, as I said, the XX1 uh, rear derailleur and a GX uh, not a 10 to 50 tooth uh, cassette, as well as an XX1 shifter unnecessary but i uh i think gx is honestly is just just as good yeah these are just a little bit more lighter and um, maybe shift slightly more stiffer um so this is kind of a hand-me-down bar from a buddy of mine uh they are the uh bontrager rxl um they're about 730 um wide so not super wide but i actually like them for this bike because i kind of was going more for a cross-country feel on it um the uh stem is the same stem i took from the karate monkey as well uh it's a paul components box car uh the brakes are you know the cheapo clarks they work well though on here um i like them i have the SRAM G2 uh, RSC on my Karate Monkey. I had upgraded that and those are awesome because they're four piston. Um, they work super well. They don't make much noise. These are a little bit more fickle, especially the front. Um, it, it tends to make some um, screeching noises. I've changed the pad several times. Um, so I don't know if it's just me or 
um, you know, it's just kind of the design or whatnot, but I'll keep trying to mess with it. Um, just got an old FSA headset that I had from an, uh, an old uh, road bike, which fit here. So nothing fancy there. I do have a wide industries bottom bracket here for the 30 millimeter spindle. Um, my stainless steel bottle cages from uh, King Cage. I have a Ritchie seat post. Um, might consider doing a setback or even doing a, um, a dropper post because this frame does allow for a dropper post routing internally, which is right here. Um, yeah, I got the SRAM uh, rotor center line uh, rounded here. And uh, this is also um, kind of a, a hand-me-down from the same guy. Uh, he He's a buddy of mine that helped me out. And um, he had bent these rails on this an Sella Anatomica. And um, it, this is kind of the rubberized version. It's not like the leather. But it works well and it's it's okay. The only thing about these saddles I, I find, and I have another buddy that has it, is they tend to creak a little bit. So you have to uh, kind of be mindful of that. You might want to grease some of the, the kind of the, the areas where there might be some creaking, which is usually right there. Um, yeah, uh, other than that, that's really it. It was, um, the build came out to be probably around uh, 2300 um, uh, total and that doesn't include the drivetrain because I already had it but um, I do have uh, some other drivetrain stuff that I'll be kind of having for my karate monkey or you know vice versa but um, yeah it's a rigid fork it's such a good looking fork and um, it, it I don't know it rides well it's just fun like it's I think the main thing about 29er versus 27.5 is 29er is faster. Um, I've gotten PRs when I felt like I wasn't going that fast. Um, so I feel like on the bike, you're, you don't feel fast, but you are definitely faster. Um, and I think that's kind of why a lot of the racers and people who are doing competitive stuff are probably doing 29er. That's at least my opinion. Doesn't necessarily mean it's funner, um, but I don't know, this bike just in general is fun to me. So I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of fun with it and I just, you know, it's the the bike that I tend to, I don't know if it's just new to me or, or whatnot, but I tend to gravitate towards it. My Karate Monkey, as I said, is, is a single speed right now. So that's fun in a different way. It has a suspension fork which a, with a pike fork. So I'll do an updated review on that um, coming soon. But I just wanted to kind of give this thing a, a shout out here and uh, let you guys know that I'm having a lot of fun with this. And uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't again I didn't spend a ton of money on it so it that kind of makes it even uh more kind of uh, I guess funner or uh yeah it's just uh, a cool bike anyhow I do a route near my place um it's only about a 10 11 mile route and uh it's about 1400 feet of elevation and uh, it's all fire road now it used to be some single track and it's called the Haynes Canyon Road um or trail and uh you know they call it also the rim of the valley and i have another video it's like one of my first videos i posted and this is the bike for this route like it just cruises and bombs down you know you kind of come all the way up from there and then you descend all the way down to um the end of this trail here um so yeah i i gotta get some more exercise in and uh trying to do this trail at least a couple times during the week it doesn't really get boring it's just really an exercise and you know it, it's fun so Anyhow, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk later. Bye-bye.